So I got 25 people in here. I got 25 people in here, all right? You know what I'm saying? It's not like where I want. Can I talk to you right quick, verbal violence? Hey, man, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Because I didn't think I'd ever see you motherfuckers again. Uh, I asked these niggas for a fucking hour at the comedy store. I was like, yo, let me do it. Jamar and friends. I was posting that shit online. Two likes, three likes. Like, I could post like a meme. I could post like like a sketch or me at home or some shit like that. Nigga, gang of life. I, I ain't tripping though, because I'm like 25 people. I'm over like, nigga, I done, played ten, I done played 10 people in the motherfucking main room. I done played three people at the Ha Ha Cafe. Nigga, I don't really be tripping. So for 25 people to be like, oh, that nigga Jamar. How long? 45 minutes? That's a little bit long. Well, we gonna stay for 20 of that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a compulsive overthinker. I don't know about you niggas, but I'm like, I am. So I'm like, all right, man. Well, if you walk in there tonight, nigga, there's only five people in there. Don't let that shit rattle you. If you walk in there and, and, and it's a fine ass bitch in there that you want to fucking impress with your comedy, whatever, you gotta ignore that bitch, man, and just be crazy. It's this girl. I met, uh, I met her at my gym. Every time she's like, I'ma come out to your show, and I was like, oh, all right, cute, cute. She, every time she came out to my motherfucking show, shit, I would always bomb. This bitch then came out to at least eight motherfucking shows of mine. And I bombed every, except for one time, because I had on these sunshades, nigga, so I wasn't seeing nobody. <laughs> I was on my cool shit. I was on my cool Bubba Ice shit. And she was like, that's the best I ever seen you. And I was like, you know why? When you come out, I'm afraid that you're going to think that I'm so crazy if I really do my shit that, that it's going to scare you off of fucking me. I think what it is is that you just have the ability to start at 100. You'll come out on stage and there'll be no like, like I'm gonna ease y'all into it. You just you're like, nah, it's raw. <laughs> right, right, so you just go into it right off the bat. I have to learn like how to like ease the dick. In. They don't know you. <laughs> you can't just be like, <laughs> nigga, you gotta be alive. Yeah. You but, like grocery store jokes? Yeah. Like you can. Yeah. <laughs> Bounce it. Oh, I'm gonna bounce it. Oh, yeah. Bounce it. You wanna do it? Okay, we about to do a TikTok right now. You need to practice? No. What's the biggest comedy L you ever took? Oh. Like, after this, nothing really can phase me. I'm from here, born and raised and shit, LA, whatever, born and raised, so. I, uh, I had never, I was never ever allowed to leave the state because I was like a ward of the court, you know what I'm saying? I was like a foster kid or whatever the fuck, so I could never leave the state. I was 18 and I had started doing comedy. I was 18 turned 19 or whatever the fuck, right? A lot of comics was talking about going to New York and all that stuff or whatever. Like, oh, you should go out to New York and shit like that. And in my head, I was like, oh yeah, nigga, you can go out to New York. Nigga, you free, nigga, you're not a ward of the court no more. Oh, no, 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 you do it too, you do it too. Wait, TikTok. TikTok. I was doing spots in New York, 2009, I mean, 2010. I got this, I did this spot in Brooklyn. They had shows, I mean, they had open mic in the evening, and then they had shows at night. I would kill the open mics. I would destroy them. I'd say, man, man, I heard you do shows here at night. Can I get up? And then he was like, yeah, you funny. We're going to see what the fuck you're going to do on this show. That's how you talk. Mind you, I don't know Brooklyn niggas. Like, I don't know, like, I'm from the hood out here, but I don't know the hood out there. At the open mic or whatever, it's just comics. Fuck about but at night, this was a nigga crowd. And it's a Brooklyn nigga crowd. And I don't really know what the fuck that mean, but I don't know other niggas other than the niggas that I know out here. So I don't know. Anyway, so I let all that shit get in my head. So I went up there, nigga, and I was fucking, I was eating it, right? I was eating that shit like, like that, right? So this host Marlon came up, and the DJ played the music and shit like that. And then he fucking said, hold on, hold on, hold on. I bounced around, he said, hold on, DJ, hold on. He cut the fucking music. You see why I don't let these fucking West Coast niggas come out here, man, on the motherfucking show? Yo, DJ, play that music. And then he played, it's so hard to say goodbye. To yesterday. And I was yelling. The DJ cut the music and shit right there. I said, I said, fuck you. I said, I'm better than all them niggas. He said, and then he pointed to the DJ, and the DJ was like, the DJ was like, irre, irre. it's so hard. When I said the audience was dying every time that nigga cued that fucking music, that shit almost broke my spirit. Nigga, I ain't never, I ain't, nigga, I ain't gonna lie, nigga, I ain't never walked out of the fucking comedy club with Bambi legs. Nigga, like, I was just like, fuck 
Malachi. Tonight, I'm Jamar Malachi Davis. Woo! Hi, Verbal Violence. Look, come here, let me talk to you in the back right quick. It's like an hour and what, six minutes and shit? Right? So I guess what I got from this is that, okay, cool. You could be interesting for an hour and six minutes. I didn't feel any like downers and shit or whatever. They was with a nigga the whole fucking time. So that was cool. And you know what's so funny is that a lot of this shit, a lot of this shit I'm over here like, damn, man, that's not even what I really want to do. Every time I tell you, that's the motherfucker I'm talking about. Because you introduced yourself first. Right. And the, and then once you introduced yourself, you saw how they was with you the entire fucking time? Right, right, right. right. what you were saying? That's what I'm saying. Ah. When you do that, it's different. You can say shit that nobody else can say. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> 